Do you believe that we all lived past lives? Do you believe in reincarnation? Do you believe that our souls are immortal? Have you ever had deja vu when you meet someone, visited a new place, or did something? And that feeling of, I know you, or I know this place, even though you can't quite put your finger on it. Do you wonder why you're here on earth? What your sole purpose is? Do you ever wonder who you were in a past life? Or why you adore or feel repelled by someone? Maybe you wonder why things happen constantly to you. Let me tell you a little bit about past life regression. Past life regression is available as a form of hypnotherapy that is used to heal and transform the root causes of physical disease and entrenched emotional issues and patterns. Past life regressions can help us connect with our souls. To get answers about our relationships, our careers, our fears, our desires, and even a life purpose at large. I'm going to tell you all about past life regression and how you can benefit from having your own regression session. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Welcome to Spiritually Speaking Podcast. My goal is to teach you the elements of spirituality that will show you how to find your passion and purpose in life. I'm your host, Lisa Maria. So join me in another session of Spiritually Speaking. Welcome back to Spiritually Speaking Podcast. I'm so happy that you joined me today while we are going to discuss past lives and how a past life regression can help you get rid of negative patterns in your life and thrive on the positive ones. So why should you even care about having a past life regression? Well, here's 12 reasons. You get to touch and feel your soul and know who you are as a spiritual being. You receive unconditional love. You know and feel how sacred and divine you are and how utterly loved and precious you are. You can discover your soul purpose and why you're here on earth. You can understand the dynamics behind significant relationships, both the wonderful and the challenging ones, and how to shift or grow from them. You can heal physical issues. Here we enter the realm of the miraculous, with thousands of records of healing, where by just remembering a past life trauma like drowning, a woman is healed from asthma. You can heal emotional issues like phobias and fears and transform toxic mindsets of feeling powerless, abandoned, or unlovable. You get soul perspective. This will shift just about every way you view yourself, your relationships, and your life. You tap into untapped talents and gifts that can awaken within you. You can receive guidance and love from your spirit guides. You can heal and transform on a cellular level very quickly. You can connect with your soul family, kindred souls that are beyond your earth family. You feel and experience your divinity, your true nature of love, peace, joy, and wholeness. And you know who you are as a soul as a spiritual being. Now, if that isn't attractive, I don't know what else is. Let me tell you. But I'm going to start off with karma, which a lot of people misunderstand. Many people feel that karma is a punishment from something that they have done before. Hence the saying, karma is a bitch, or karma will get them. Well, karma describes the patterns that we establish in our drive towards wholeness. It can either hinder or help us in our journey. And karma is not only negative, as most people think. 
It's a subtle or energetic form of cause and effect. Although most of us focus on karma as negative things that we need to change to receive better things in life, it is far from that. We make choices, and there are always consequences for our choices. Some good, some bad. But the most important thing about changing is learning the lessons from those experiences. When we don't learn the lesson, we continue to repeat the same patterns. The same type of people keep showing up in our lives. And we continue to receive the same things in life. And on and on it goes in a vicious circle. Then we teach our children those patterns if we don't change them. And there it goes on for lifetimes, generation after generation. We need to stop that vicious circle of negativity by finding the root of the problem, whether it's in this life or our past lives. This could be something we didn't let go of in a past life, so this is where past lives come in. Past life memories are the autobiography of your eternal soul. Personal stories that explain who you are now and why you're here on earth. And past life regression is a therapeutic technique for accessing and re-experiencing those past lives directly. It's a branch of hypnotherapy. Past life regression has grown over the last 50 years to be an important addition to the healing arts with millions of case studies that prove we lived in past lives. There's past life evidence from children. And how do we know this? Perhaps the strongest evidence for the continuation of a personal consciousness from life to life is the spontaneous past life memories of kids. Hundreds of cases have been verified where a young child speaks in so much detail about a past life that their former identity can be matched to a specific person who died before the child was born. And when the past and present personalities are compared, we see that specific personality traits like emotions, attitudes, abilities, relationships, and even physical symptoms carry forward from one life to another. Children who remember dying violently often express strong emotions and may even have repeating nightmares. Feelings of fear, sadness, anger, guilt are felt and align with the circumstances of their past life deaths. The children's cases show more than just a correspondence in personality and behavior. In the cases where the traumatic past life memory was acknowledged and processed, the negative feelings and thoughts from the trauma was released. These children were able to let go of the heavy emotional baggage that they carried into this life. And if you weren't fortunate enough to have your past life experiences resolved as a child, then feelings, thoughts, and even physical symptoms stemming from past life trauma can carry forward into adulthood and continue to affect you unconsciously as recurring dominant patterns in your life. And this is where past life regression therapy can help you. For example, if you died feeling abandoned in a previous life, your energetic template is charged with feelings of abandonment. You may come into this life and have separation anxiety as a baby, or you may experience the early loss of a parent. These early experiences mirror unresolved past life themes. The accompanying feelings of sadness, rejection, and feeling unloved are triggered and can continue into adulthood affecting your relationships with other people. Now, some people try past life regression simply out of curiosity to see who they were in the past. I know I have. But for most, it's a path for personal growth and healing. With the help of a trained guide, past life regression can help you with the following. 
It can help you see personal relationships in a new light. It can help energize talents and abilities from the past. It can help release fears and anxieties that are linked to past life traumas. It can help release past life traumas at the root of the physical problem, meaning eliminating it for good. It will help you experience the transitional states of death and beyond. It can help you understand and align with your life purpose. Okay, so how does past life regression work? Well, in a light trance, and me as your regression guide, you experience each past life yourself. You see it, you sense it, and you feel it. You are the central character deeply involved in the past life story. Regression therapy now is not to be confused with past life psychic readings, which is more informational than therapeutic. And I do offer both as services. And I'm going to give you that information later in the, in the podcast. So while seeing, feeling, and sensing past lives, past life regression is an amazing, full sensory experience. Now you might experience the memory as a vivid movie, or see only vague flashes of images that prompt the narrative. You might hear gunshots or explosions on a battlefield, or music at a dance. It's possible to recall smells too, like smoke from a fire leather from a saddle, or the sweat of a dirty body. But no, when you have a past life regression, you are not experiencing or re-experiencing the pain. You are basically watching it or viewing it like a movie. So don't be scared of having a past life regression. As the story unfolds, you feel real emotions appropriate to the story. You may cry when you re-experience deep sadness at the death of a beloved child or feel despair in the pit of your stomach as you witness a massacre. Or you may experience happiness at a long-awaited homecoming from the war. And just as you can recall strong emotions, You feel the pain of an arrow piercing your body as you are dying, or the heaviness of a load that you're carrying on your back. These physical sensations and emotions are very real in the moment, but pass quickly as you move through the past life story and the death. In the superconscious state, many surprising things can happen. You can objectively review the past life just experienced and gain a sense of understanding of lessons learned in that lifetime and what thoughts, feelings, and physical sensations may have carried forward from that life into the present. And if more than one lifetime is recalled during the session, general soul patterns can be observed, shedding tremendous insight into where you've been and where you're going in your journey through your incarnations. Some people move into a highly energetic state where they experience healing energies coming into their bodies, imbuing information, love, and understanding. These energies may be experienced as orbs or colors or other beautiful forms. The energy can also take on the form of spiritual beings who give guidance and answer questions. Groups of souls may appear and act as agents of teaching and healing. This type of healing usually occurs spontaneously without any prompting from me. These healings have been described by clients as one of the most significant life-affirming events of their lives. For some, it is the first time they've experienced absolute peace and unconditional love. In this state of soul consciousness, deceased relatives can suddenly make contact, both spiritually and telepathically. A presence is felt in the room. 
their forms are recognizable. And I encourage these telepathic dialogues because I believe there is a reason why these loved ones show up during a session. For those who experience this contact, they are left with a sense of wonder and often relief, deeply knowing that their loved ones are present. This extraordinary state of consciousness has been described by mystics, near-death experiencers, and past life therapists for more than 40 years. Pioneers such as Dr. Joel Witten of Canada and Dr. Michael Newton of California have documented this afterlife state in their books. Dr. Joel Witten described the state of consciousness during regression therapy in his groundbreaking book, Life Between Life, in 1986. And in recent years, Dr. Newton has refined techniques for delving more deeply into the life between life realm and describes his clients' experiences in his amazing books, Journey of Souls and Destiny of Souls. I'll put the links in the description for those books. So why does past life therapy work? People often ask, how can past life therapy help me? I have enough to deal with in this life. The short answer is you're affected by your past lives, whether you're aware of it or not. And because you're dealing with so much in this life, it could be, it could go back to your past lives. So you could actually get rid of it. Past life experiences create the dominant patterns in your present life. Past life therapy is a direct way to access the origins of these patterns and heal present life issues. Allow me to explain a little bit further. You're not born as a blank slate, written upon only by early experiences and heredity, as conventional science would have us believe. You're so much more. You come into this life as a soul impressed with the wisdom and wounds from many other lifetimes. These impressions are encoded into an energetic template that informs your present personality, physical body, and some external circumstances in your life. This template also carries the emotional charges from unfinished lessons from previous lives and the plans and the blueprints for the present life. Think of it like this. Think of it as an elementary school, a middle school, and a high school. Some of us are ready to graduate and some are still in elementary school. So always remember, just because you may be more familiar with the spiritual aspects of things or hold different beliefs than someone else, does not make you any better than them. It just means that they may still be in middle school and learning on a different level than you are. So don't ever judge. I always say that everyone is entitled to have their own beliefs. Some people believe in reincarnation, and that is okay. Some people don't believe in reincarnation, and that's okay too. But don't judge me for my belief. And if they do, then it's okay too, because this may be their level of learning right now. All in all, we're all learning here on earth. And the reason we continue to reincarnate is because our soul is moving forward to graduate, so to speak, into a higher dimension or realm. And once our souls reach a specific energetic vibration, then we are able to move on into those higher dimensions. So let me tell you a little bit more about how past life regression works. Past life regression is not a psychic reading. It is personal healing for you. You were born not as a blank slate, but as a soul rich with both the wisdom and the scars from many lifetimes. We all carry memories from past lives into this life. Unconscious memories that carry an energetic charge and continue to affect us. They can be things like that are vows made, 
things left undone, accomplishments, failures, mistakes, success, emotional deaths, guilt, gratitude, traumatic and sudden deaths, wisdom, and love. Past life regression helps us settle things from the past that we may have brought with us into this life. It helps us process the memories that keep showing up in our present lives and allow us to overcome fears, phobias, pain, and other types of emotions that no longer serve our highest good. This helps the soul process the memories that may still linger within our souls while finding out the why or the root cause of the things that we deal with in our present life. These charges from the past set up patterns which are continually triggered and repeated in our present life. These patterns can be positive or negative, and they can affect our relationships, behaviors, motivations, and even our physical bodies and health. Positive patterns can feed talents, bestow wisdom, influence taste, and energize our life purpose. And negative patterns fuel destructive, compulsive behaviors. It clouds our judgment, cause injuries, and block our way to our higher purpose. By making these memories conscious, we can release the patterns that no longer serve us, freeing us to live more fully in the present. Beneficial patterns are reinforced. Negative patterns are neutralized. Past life regression is the process of healing the soul by healing the past. Let me tell you a little bit about life between lives and how past life regression can help you in spiritual healing as well. Now, past life regression is gaining recognition as a legitimate form of spiritual healing. No matter what religion you profess, or even if you don't follow any religion, experiencing yourself as a soul in other lifetimes gives you a profound awareness that you are more than a physical body. You encounter your soul's essence connected and aligned to a greater universal energy, perhaps for the first time in your life. This has happened often in different PLR sessions, and for those who experience it, they feel truly at peace. After slipping from your body, you travel in the spiritual state between lives and feel the energy of heaven. You get a glimpse of who you truly are, a soul learning and growing through different incarnations. Some meet guides and make plans. Some dialogue with deceased relatives and are left with a profound sense of having made genuine contact with their loved ones. An important part of the past life regression sessions occur after going through the past life death and into a virtual afterlife experience. No matter what was recalled in the past life story, going through the death is a distinct shift in consciousness, an altered state within an altered state of consciousness. You experience yourself as a soul consciousness, outside of time, detached from your past or present personality, without a physical body. Again, all in all, we are all learning here on earth. The reason we continue to reincarnate is because our soul is moving forward to graduate into a higher dimension or realm. And once our souls reach a specific energetic vibration, then we are able to move on into those higher dimensions. I'd like to thank you for joining me in this episode of Spiritually Speaking. And as always, I have a freebie for you. I have a short version of a past life regression guided meditation for you to practice and try for yourself. Now remember, this is a short version. A past life regression session can last close to three hours. So make sure you keep a journal beside you to record any memories that you may have after doing this meditation. And a past life regression session with me 
can be done via video as well as in person. So you don't even have to be in my local area. If you'd like to book a past life regression hypnosis session with me, please send me an email with the subject line past life regression to lisa at lifeyou.me. It's lisa at l-i-f-e-y-o-u dot m-e. Or you can always contact me through my website too at www.spiritualonlinecourses.org or www.lisamaria.com I'll include all the links in the description below and as always love and light to you all and I'll speak to you in the next session of Spiritually Speaking Namaste